want to talk to you today for a, little, for a few moments here. It is time to give God the praise with dancing. It is time to give God the praise with dancing. Now, I know uh, in our younger days and in our younger times that many of us cut a step one or two. And even though we thought that we thought that we were the best on the dance floor, uh -huh. we thought we had it going on. Uh -huh. But I want to tell you a story about a man by the name of King David. That when David heard about Obed Eaton, now Obed Eaton was not of the Israelites. <laughs> he was not of the Israelites. But see, you don't have to be of the Israelites in order for God to bless you. That's a revelation right there. So the Bible says that the ark of the covenant of God was in Obed Eden's house. And wherever the ark of the covenant of God was at, the blessing of God overflowed there. So God started blessing Obed Eden's house because of the ark of the covenant of God. And I'm not talking about no little bit of blessing. Mm -hmm. I mean, God showered down the blessing over Obed Eden. And when God began to shower down the blessing over Obed Eden's house, it got back to David. Uh -huh. What was going on? Amen. And David began to tell his men of war, he said, we've got to go over there uh -huh. and get that. Now, it wasn't just, you know, you just walk to Obed Eden's house and pick up the ark of the covenant of God. Amen. They may have uh, came across some enemies on the way. Amen. And even though they may have came across some enemies on the way, God had prepared David to go pick up the ark. Amen. Now, there was rules and there was orders and there was instructions on picking up this holy thing. You couldn't just grab it and pick it up like this. You would die just picking up that ark. Well, when they were coming back with the ark of the covenant of God, others kept the ark because it was about to fall off on the side. And when he touched it, he fell dead. Mm -hmm. It was it, it was. Important to, to follow the instructions of God. Uh huh. See, 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 see. Even though it seemed like the ark was going to kill and fall, it wasn't going to fall. Because God had it in control. Amen. So the Bible said that David heard about the blessings of God. I don't know if anyone who, anybody here has uh, truly been blessed by God Amen. to tell about it. Uh huh. See, since the whole he had been sick. Uh huh. And God raised him up. That's a blessing from God. I had a heart attack one time. And God raised me up. That's a blessing from God. And there may be others in here. Probably been on the night on heart surgery. And the doctor came out and said, We are lost him. And I said, Lord, not yet. Not now. And God raised him back up. That's a blessing from God. See, it's not always, you know, we think that a blessing from God is always finances and it's always money. But it ain't always money. No, 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 no. To have the blessings of God run after you. That's how the offer the covenant of God was. So as the blessings of God was running after all that eating house, it got back to David what was going on. And David said, I've got to go and get the ark of the covenant of God. Because he knew that's where his blessing was at. And when he went to go get the ark of the covenant of God, David began to follow the instructions of God. And said, when you get this ark of the covenant of God, David, I want you to praise me like you've never praised me before. That means David had to start, you know, uh, waving his hand. Lord, God, I thank you. Woo, glory to God. He, he had to, you know, he took his jacket off, started taking his clothes off, and 
Because he was getting happy. You know, God was just start moving on his life. And he started uh, uh, praising God radically. And his wife saw him over there in the window. And all David had on was an ephod. And he said, now this thing, he done lost his ever mind. Praising God like that. Going crazy like, like he ain't never, you know, done it. I mean, took the death and he was, boy, oh, I tell you, he had, he had it going on. He was just waving his hands. And, you know, if you ever felt the power of God get you, and, and, and something starts hitting you. I remember talking to a man before, and uh, he was talking, and every time he talked to me, Brother John, he shaking like this, and when he grabbed your hand, oh, God, God, give him thanks, God. God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we may even ask of them. So the power of God, he owes that eating house, and the blessings of God yeah. fell on their lives. The power of the Lord moved on their life. And David started dancing radically with the Lord. He started doing all kinds of things. And his wife saw him and said, He had lost his mind. Michael saw his daughter. And when that happened, when she despised her husband, when she despised him, I'm glad the girl asked me what happened to her. When she despised her husband and said, God, this man that made a fool out of himself. See, David knew what he was doing. He was giving God the praise for his body. I don't know if anyone of you in here has ever danced better for the Lord, but I'm telling you, it's, it's something to behold. To be able to take your hand and shout, see, everybody may be looking at you like you have lost your mind. They think you have gone crazy because you're moving and giving God the praise. And Micah saw his daughter. Uh -huh. The power of God fell on the king, and she despised him in her heart. And when she despised the king in her heart, she was unable to conceive any children. Mm -mm 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 -mm. She was unable to bear any children. Look here at the word of the Lord, my friend. I ain't going to be before you very long here. As the Bible says, And it was told King David, saying, The Lord had blessed the blessings of God. It's for every man. The blessings of God is for every woman. The blessings of God is for me and it's for you. The blessings of God, see, we think that the blessings of God is a brand new car. We think that the blessings of God is a brand new house. We think that the blessings of God is people showering you with money. There are people acting that have money when they got no mind. They're killing themselves. They, they destroy themselves. And you got a lot of money and they kill themselves. And they got all kinds of money and they destroy themselves. So happiness they found all the way in money. The blessings of God, God, and I will bless you going in. I will bless you coming out. I make you the head and not the tail. It don't have to be. You know, see, we think the blessings of God is a brand new church. That could not necessarily, might not be the blessings of God. Come on now. Because, see, when, 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 when we look at what God is able to do, and when we look at what God has done, is doing, and plan on doing, we can say, Lord, we are blessed over here at the sacred church of God at the It may not be how we see in our eyes. See, we look at the threat, and we look at numbers, and we look at people. We, don't, we, we can't look at that. We have to look at what God has given unto us. God has blessed us with Sister Jackson being here. God has blessed us. She can still have to be here. She can be the very busy young lady. She can be somewhere else doing something different. Not that we're blessed because he's here today. We're blessed because Sister Hall is here this morning. We're blessed because Brother Larry is here. He don't have to be here today. We expect to have the dog being here. We expect to have the sweet woman of God here in our life. We are blessed beyond the measures of life. And do you not realize everything that we need is already here? Glory be to God. It's already here. What we need is already here. Hallelujah. God is blessing us to sister me. Amen. Giving donations out of her heart. Come on, somebody. Yeah. That's a blessing from God. Amen. 
That's the best thing from the Lord. Time, you know, see, we go places and we look uh, uh, at people. I know folks look at me when I pick up a penny off the floor. Say, Lord, leave that penny down here. No, you better pick that penny up. You better, you better pick that penny up and save that penny. I remember the time, I remember the time when Oprah went me, we on a penny drop. Anybody remember that? Anybody, anybody remember when Oprah went me, she went on a penny drop? They had more pennies than this big bucket that I've ever seen in my life. Pennies were coming out of everywhere. They were coming out of all kinds of places. Pennies, I'm talking about, you can look back on the, on the internet and see her. See it. She had a penny drop. You can Google it. Anybody can Google it. Sister, she said, go ahead, that's what I'm saying. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Amen, hallelujah. They had a penny drop. Oprah Winfrey had a penny drop, and they had so many pennies coming from around the world. People were sending pennies to her. Sending pennies to her. I'm talking about God sending blessings to your life. Hallelujah. Sick. And the devil trying to kill you. But God did not want to send a blessing to your life. Hallelujah. Everybody talking about you. Shouting out in your name. Saying that you ain't no good. You ain't no baby. God said, Whew, I'm feeling the blessing your way. Hallelujah. I've got blessings got the blessings got the blessings coming your way. We look at our lives like we don't have nothing. Amen. Uh-huh. But see, I'm telling you right now, we are blessed Amen. beyond the measure. Yes. We are blessed by the hand of God. We are blessed by the will of God. We are blessed by the ways of God. I, I, I always keep this church in my mind. I, I don't know, one day we might all pack up and go here, and I'd like to show you all this church. I mean, this church was falling down. Yes, it was. And it, you jumped, and the pulpit would just, it would just rattle and shake. Uh-huh. And God gave the pastor a revelation. And the people just start giving. Folks start paying tithes and giving money and uh, started helping out the church. And the, the pastor, he uh, submitted his tithes to the church and God started blessing the, the church. And you, if you see this church now, you'll see the finished product. But if you see it way back then, the thing was falling over the hill. And God said, I got a blessing for you. But you got to start trusting me. I got a blessing for you, but you got to start getting your mind on me. Amen. See, the Bible says, I will keep you in perfect peace if your mind is stayed on me. Amen. Your mind got to stay on God. Amen. you got to stay focused on the things of God. Amen. And see, what happened was, when, if, if you, if you uh, 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 lean to the left and, and God ain't there, you better lean back to the right and find out where he is. Amen. You see, David began to rabbit me, praise God. I mean, every part, you know, you have to see, you have to see, every part of him was shaking. You know, some folks, you know, we thought Michael Jackson had it going on. And we thought Michael, no, David had it going on. And the power of God shook him. And he danced before the Lord with all his might. Every part of his life. Any fiber of his being, he gave God the praise, the glory, and the honor. Amen. Hallelujah. And his wife despised it. She said, you are making a fool out of yourself. I don't go to God. I said, you're making a fool out of yourself. Give God the praise. Do we think that giving God the praise, people, you know, they start looking at you. Oh, Lord, what's Pastor doing up there now? Why she, she crying? She ain't been doing that before. Why she doing it? People say, you're making a fool out of yourself. Uh-huh. Good brother. See, see, what we need to do, and, and what we need to do in here, we got these little kitty cat wings in here. But what we need to do is don't worry about how to use the sound over there. I can pick it up anyway. It don't make no difference to me. But get you a tambourine, and since you keep grabbing one, and start just giving out the praise. Glory, glory. How see, when all of us, when all of us get together, glory be to God. When two or three are gathered together in my name, he said, there am I in the midst of this. There am I. I'm ready to bless you. Hallelujah. I'm ready to pour out my blessings on your life because the ark of the covenant of God is coming here. Can you, can you believe it? The ark of the covenant of God is coming my way. Hallelujah. And see, when, when, 
brand new car. No, I don't think for my brand new car. I think for my brand new me. Hallelujah. Go to fix me, God, before you fix anything else. Fix me, God. Hallelujah. Well, I'm going to be glad that you did not be here to drive it out. Hallelujah. So that I can be more that you need me to be. It is time to give God the praise. It's time to worship Him. And magnify Him. And glorify Him. And lift His name up on high. When we first started, he said, but the guy, he's going to be on his drum. I don't know why he quit. <laughs> the Bible says, make a joyful noise. You ain't got to be worried about keeping the beat. Just get up to pray. Come on, somebody. Y'all know, y'all know that lady out there, uh, 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 Tina Turner. I know y'all know Tina Turner. Come on, somebody. I know y'all know Tina Turner. She was keep dancing out there in her 70s. Come on now. In her 70s. She was in her 70s. And she still saying what love got to do with it. Still clapping her fingers. Come on now. And she's an older woman. Hallelujah. I remember one time, one time we went to a roller skating ring. And this lady this was roller skating. She was roller skating to the music and roller skating to the music and all that. And then when she stopped, you know, you were the first people to a 25, 18 year old woman. This woman was 83 years old. 83 years old. Skating backwards in the day. Lord have mercy. I said, go ahead now. Hallelujah. It's time to give God to radical praise. Even if it's just waving your hand. Even if it's just giving God a praise with just your hand. Just your hand wave. I'm about to quit taking my seat. I'll tell you a story real quick. There was a man. He was sitting in the back of the church. And the church was full. And couldn't nobody see him waving his hand. He waving his hand, giving God the praise and thanking God for what God has done for him. Uh-huh. And then he couldn't, they couldn't see him back there. But he waving his hand, giving God the praise and thanking God and giving God the glory and the honor. And then what happened was when they couldn't see him, he stuck a mat. Started waving that mat. Uh huh. And he said, I wish somebody so would catch on fire, catch on fire, catch on fire. I wish somebody so would catch on fire, burning with the Holy Ghost. Oh, I wish somebody so would catch on fire, catch on fire, catch on fire. I wish somebody so would catch on fire, burning with the Holy Ghost. He said, burning, 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 oh! I wish somebody so would catch on fire, catch on fire, catch on fire. I wish somebody so would catch on fire, burning with the Holy Ghost. Burning! Burning!
the heavens begin to rejoice. The heavens begin to rejoice when one sinner has said, Lord, I accept you in my life. Yes. Amen. God wants to bless his people. Amen. He wants to bless us like never, ever before. Amen. Amen. I look at my brother, I can use him in the testimony. Amen. When God first came down, he came down, he did nothing. So he just said, all he had was this fancy leather bag, some kind of leather satchel. Amen. You remember that leather bag? He had that leather bag full of stuff. All he had was in that leather bag. Amen. Amen. All he had was in that bag. Amen. I guess he figured, God, how am I going to make it? Lord, what am I going to do? Lord, how am I going to make it? And 10 years now, this man done had cars. He done had more cars than I had. How many cars you done had down here? About 15, 20? He had about 15, 20 cars. That man, he from Virginia. Uh huh, a man was working down at the dry cleaning. Come be the God. He came down here working in the dry cleaning. The dry cleaning by trade. He wanted to stay in that business and in that field. And we went to certain drop cleaners and we looked at them and God said, no. Then we looked at this other drop cleaner and he said, brother, he said, brother, we'll just pray. So we said a prayer and we said, God, this is the job. The next day he went there and got the job. Been there ever since then. Come on, give God a hand and pray somebody. How long have you been there now, bro? 15 years? How long? 15 years. And God done blessed him. Amen. Married his wife, he had six kids and he raised all the children. Come on, I'm talking about the blessings of God overtaking him. Yeah. Now he got it. He's living in the house big and he, he, he got more rooms he ain't able to do with. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> got more rooms in the deck. You don't know what to do with him. Living the bed. I ain't going to say how big the bed is. Bed like this long. Look at big night long time. There's one little fellow right there. He was in one of them. There's a speak five people in. <laughs> God is good. Amen. And he will bless you going in and bless you coming out. He'll make you the head and not the tail. My brother used to give away so many clothes to these people. You know, you know, sometimes when you give away stuff to Jack and you know, give away, I don't want it. Uh, I don't get it. And then, and then, when you don't get it, you're right. You got any more of them clothes out of it. Uh, you got to pass the time out. I don't get it. What I'm going to do right now. Amen. But God wants to bless you. He wants to bless you. Hallelujah. I'm going to take my piano. I know I'm talking too much. Amen. Praise God. I know there was time. I know there was time with the family and the, and the old car. The, the son didn't want the old car. And, and, and what happened was the father said, we're going to buy you a truck. And, and the father went out and bought the boy a truck. But it wasn't the kind of truck he wanted. To it was an old, beat-up truck, different colored doors and everything. So the boy went upstairs and got a baseball bat. Came back downstairs. Go beat the car to death. Daddy, you might you beat up all you want. That's what you're going to drive. So you might you beat up if you want to. You're going to be beating up your car. You're going to drive it. Amen. They were trying to teach this boy a lesson. It ain't in the material thing. See, he thought he was going to get a brand new car. And, and all of these things, and the father was trying to teach him a lesson, mm-hmm. trying to show him something, mm-hmm. uh huh, trying to show him something. Amen. It ain't all what you got, mm-hmm. you know. You know, sometimes I, I remember, I remember one time uh, we was at a church meeting, and the, and the, and the brother was saying, uh, he said, he said, uh, you know, he come to the church, and uh, everybody told him his fine cars and nice cars and things like that there, and he got him, he started testifying. He said, Lord, I want you to forgive me, God. I ask you, God, I repent right now here before these people. He said, Lord, I had to hide my car because I was ashamed of driving up here in my hoopty. But I'm here to tell you, God, if you bless me one more time, I'll drive it right straight to the door. Walking, whatever's wrong with it, uh, you know, uh, Bondo, whatever it is, God, I'm driving it straight to the church. Come on now. Drive, drive, and stay to the church. Because see, God wants to bless you. You don't have to be ashamed.